Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and the Hard Mode Challenge and quite a challenge it has been. It's been a disaster, an absolute disaster in more ways than one last episode since we lost half the episode due to a failed recording. Hopefully we don't have that. I'll try and keep an eye on it today. It looks like it's going well at the moment. Now once again I, I booted it up and it was like 11 o'clock at night so I've sat here for the last half an hour waiting for the time to tick by. But it is now uh, 10 to 8. I think we left at about quarter to 8. So we're back to where we were. And we are in the White Western Star. So we were trying to do the pipe dream. And our plan is to take our metal beams and our bricks across here. And up to the factory. And then probably come back. We'll grab some fuel at the fuel station. We'll have to head to the garage to change out our low hitch for a high hitch then grab the fuel tanker this here is it there that is there is it we've not moved it yet have we and um deliver that as well because it's not showing fish is there i'm sure it's there we've not messed that up already have we Right, anyway, we are gonna take we're gonna take the bricks and stuff, we're gonna do that. So let's get moving. Let us get moving. Handbrake off, let's roll through. Now hopefully Hopefully the White West is gonna be fine going through here. Or not. If we're already struggling to get over the one of those barriers, it's not looking well. It's quite a bit of weight on her. Gonna, we're going to winch our way through. I think this is still going to be the quicker route than trying to drive around the whole map. No doubt the game is going to prove me wrong. We'll probably end up rolling or something. I've never rolled when crossing this river before, so... I've never rolled when doing a lot of the things we've done so far in this series. As I was sitting, just waiting, contemplating life in Snowrunner at the minute. It's just been... Look at that, we're going to... I told you we'd roll. I've never rolled here, and it looks like we're about to roll. Yeah, contemplating life in Snowrunner. Why it's going so wrong? What What is so different about now, as opposed to all the other times I've played? Especially the amount of times I've done Michigan. And I just cannot put my finger on I don't know why we're struggling. Now, in part, I think I put the extra pressure on myself knowing how much harder this is going to be. Let's uh, probably go actually lower gear, see if we can bring ourselves up. I think maybe... If we go... What's the furthest point forwards? That one? Pull the trailer. Yeah, I think I've put a lot of pressure on myself in this unnecessarily. Oh, we're on the roots, that's what it is. Lemon roots. Also, in not doing things in the order that I've traditionally done them, it's really thrown me. Um, so I don't feel like I know where I am at the minute, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, although I don't have a, a set strategy and never have had, there's always been a sort of a route to the way I do things. And yeah, we, we've not done that. Uh, I feel like my trucks aren't where I normally have them. We're just all about everywhere at the minute. Gone down, good. 
a bit of a mess. So I need, I need to do, I don't know what I can do to get this back on track. Just hurry up and finish Michigan so we can start fresh in Alaska. <laughs> I think that's what I need to do. Just going to bury myself if I do that, aren't I? We are moving. You know, another way in why I put too much pressure on myself is like trying to speed things up and get things done quicker. I need to slow down. Which might sound silly with the rate that we're progressing, but we're not progressing quickly because I'm rushing things and making mistakes. And while I had the time to sit and look in my map and try and study things as I was waiting for the night to tick by. But I then start worrying about things like fuel, and I never worry about fuel. And I didn't think I was going to worry about fuel on this series. But now that I'm having to reset vehicles, and by the looks of it, it's going to be quite a regular thing, I'm worried about money. No, I'm not getting that P16 back. I've got to, I'm going to have to recover that. I'm not going to risk taking the White Western down there, or the Fleet Star down there, to try and pull that back. Because it, they will roll, and then there'll be you know, 16 grand's worth of recovery instead of 8 grand's worth of recovery. But it's just... Oh, it's, it's beyond frustrating, to say the least. Yeah. So, if, if you're still sticking with me and you're still following along, I appreciate it. Um, obviously, give the videos a thumbs up. Drop us a comment, because that really helps. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's a disaster. Let me know where you think I'm going wrong. Uh, what we should be doing. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm always a little bit ahead on this series. So things that people say can take a while for me to adjust to or bring in or, or whatever. Anything like that. But because I was even thinking, well, maybe, maybe I should look to maybe sell a truck and try and buy something different. But again, we've got no money. We've got about 30, 31 grand. We're going to have to spend 8 grand to recover the P60. If we sell a truck, say the Fleet Star, or... I don't know. What is it? The, uh, is it the Freightliner or something we've got? The Trans Star? I forget what it is that we've got that we're probably never going to use. One of the, one of the road highway trucks. Where do you get half of its value? They're probably worth about 30 grand. So we're going to get about 15 grand. Now, a truck that I've been using on my console save quite a bit. Um, I started a, again, I started another new save on my console. I was trying to, because of how crazy it's, it's been on this one, I was like, well, why am I getting it so wrong? Is it really that hard? And it's a normal, it's a normal mode. But I, I sold all the DLC trucks and I just brought myself a couple of um, ANK uh, what am I having an issue with yeah a couple of ANK MK38 civilians and I smashed through Michigan like most of Michigan anyway in a few hours. It's insane. But we we are we've, we've got no way of getting the 70, 80 grand required to even buy one of them. We'd have to sell oh, two trucks, three trucks, sell the Kodiak, sell the GMC, sell. For example, I think it's called the Transstar. Do we do that in a way that that will sort of help us out a little bit? And having a, a new truck that's all the wheel all the time, diff lock all the time. Can't put a crane on it, so we'd always have to have another truck with it to load it. So then there's the flip side. Things, things that are going through my head at the minute. How to swing this around and bring this back. Because at the moment, it's not going well. It really isn't. That 
the fuel trailer's still out there because it's showing up now. Have I left? Have I parked it up? Did I do that? Like I say, I can't remember now. My brain's gone a frazzle. Have I parked it up? Like I, I often say, like I normally do, I park it up on the side and then I, I drive past and use it for things. Have I done that? We shall see. Because I'm going to want the P16 to move that. Are my bricks not packed? Huh. There we go. So the drilling spare parts, they're out on the map. That's for the uh, the lost cargo. Have we... Have we triggered this already? Need to come over in the... In the Land Rover and, and do this. And the meteorology one, probably. So let's go and see where I've left this fuel trailer. Camera angles, dodgy. Now there are bricks down on a trailer beside us. Uh, when we come over and do the entertaining the workers thing, we'll we'll try and grab that, and we'll we'll take that through. So I'm sure there's somewhere else that wants some bricks later on. So we'll use that for that. Normally I'd use it for this. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm not doing things in the order I normally would, and it's just and I don't have a set order. It seems strange when I keep saying that. I don't have a set order, but there is a a little bit of a run plan of what's was my usual and I think I thought I'd usually clear all of this map and then move on and then clear the next map and then move on but because we've been out and about and doing quite a few different things I haven't necessarily done that I think it's still at the garage I don't think I have moved it I think it's still probably should have left this trailer so I could have picked it up again at the factory. See, I'm not thinking. I should have left that at the factory. So I could have picked it up after I dropped off the fuel trailer. Because now I'm going to have to drive somewhere to get it. I am logistically challenged. To say the least. Is it around here? Have I parked my fuel tanker on the side of the road? I think I have. But doesn't that require a high hitch? Which was on the P16. Do I just get the P16 and bring it through? to try and get a few jobs done first but to try and sort of justify the spend I wanted to have the money but that requires a high hitch honestly I am so so torn as to what to do Tell you what, let's let's go. Let's just go get the P16. Let's bite the bullet. I'm gonna to have to recover it anyway. Let's just pull over here.
if we global map Smithsville Dam Scuba cover it. There she be, bless her. <laughs> She's not had a good time. Right. Eight grand back to the garage. Puts us down to 23 grand. I don't think we have anything extra customizations we can do with it. Special gearbox. Suspension doesn't change. See, I, w I wouldn't mind being able to sell the P16 and getting a modded P16 that has a few extra options on it. But again, we do not have the money. Um, stock heavy. Extended heavy. Need to be level 19 for that. Well, we level, we're only level 10. So even in that, I feel like we should be further along. So we've got a high saddle. These are some mod bits, these are. <laughs> Put that little thing on the back. Right. I'm not repairing it. Let's go. We've got um, a repair trailer around it somewhere. And we'll put some fuel in as well. So twice we've had to recover the beast. The absolute beast of the truck. We've rolled the fleet style. We've rolled the White Western. This is the P16 twice. Absolutely insane. Camera angles again. I do apologize. That's nearly out of fuel. That's how inefficient we are. We've, I think we've drained two fuel tankers already. And we're only about a third of the way through the jobs. I think there's something like 180 contracts or something, tasks on here. And we've done 50. Not good. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to have to try and take this. <laughs> so stupid. High risk. Take this off road to get to our fuel tanker quicker, <laughs> as it were. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should. We'll see. We'll see when we get through. I don't think we will. We'll go across the river. And I think from the river we can then go through the logging camp. And we'll go that way. That's the way we'll go. I was thinking about going into town and going across the drilling site. But then we'd have to go up that windy path where we'll roll again. So no, we won't do that. But we should be able to get across the river just fine. Let's hope so, because we need to bring that big trail across that river. Again, I've done all these things many times before with no issue. I'm very conscious of any little dip that we drive over now in P16, since it did that bounce and flip. <laughs> We 
Well, something that I could do before I deliver this, because there's so much fuel there. Again, little logistics thing. Grab the Kodiak and just because it's got a fuel tank on it. Go around and just fill all my trucks up. Quickly do that and then bring the Kodiak to this trailer and uh, fill up. I have I've said I need to do a bit of a logistics thing, so maybe just topping everyone up for a little bit. Before I deliver it. And then empty it out. That might even mean taking the Kodiak through to um, Smithsville and filling up that other trailer as well. A lot of faffing about that might seem, but I need, I need to. Something that I said I was going to do, but I'm just suddenly very conscious of I've wasted a lot of fuel. So we need to go and sort of make sure we've got some. Now, sometimes with the B16, we found that actually in low gear, you're not better off. I would have preferred to have had the wedge on for doing this as well, but we're not there yet. But that's how I know I'm not doing things in, in a way that I normally would. Because I'd normally have these upgrades and stuff for doing certain jobs. Although I don't normally use the B16. Other vehicles would have other upgrades and be able to do more jobs. Uh, definitely just waste them. Let's go back low again. So far, I'm recording this quite a way ahead. Um, the other day, Rusty uh, mentioned in Discord about the more realistic, mod realistic weight mod. Um, yeah, more realistic mod, more realistic weight mod. Uh, just as uh, more realistic environments and stuff. Makes it harder. And he was like, would you consider adding that? Because he's having a lot of fun with it. I had that installed and I was running that, that's what I said to him, I had that installed and I was running that on the Twitch series and on here at the very start and I'm not sure people remember if you've been watching that long, um, I was I was confused as to why we were struggling with certain things on this series and on the Twitch stream series and it was because of that and I'd forgotten I'd had that installed because it was a long time ago that I installed the mods that I run on all my saves and I think we were running that for the first five or six episodes of this series if I remember correctly so you know we've tried that um, I don't think I'll be bringing it back it, it did make it harder although I think maybe with some extra weight we wouldn't bounce and roll so much I think that was initially why I had it just to try and reduce some of the, the bouncing from before in my, my previous gameplays. But you, you get stuck in like the slightest bit of mud, especially if you've not got all terrain or off road tyres. Like you are, you are screwed. Sometimes even in a bit of dirt. So this is where we'll like to bounce.
there's so much fuel in there. So if we jump in the Kodiak, and do we have any other fuel trailers here? I don't think we do. This is my only fuel trailer on this map. So even if I take it out, I need to bring it back. Just check in. We don't have another fuel trailer. No. And this is the one that's slightly extended. It's got an extra 2,000 litres of fuel, hasn't it? So if I... Fill up the uh, where are we coming from from the fuel tank I'll make sure I can get it right for a change we will f fill this GMC up I don't know if we'll use it again I'm really not sure really I'm not sure what we're doing with this but we want to go to the GMC which is pretty much full anyway Back at the start, I said I didn't think I'd need to do any of this sort of stuff, but I feel I've got to. And we have to be careful, because I think we've already got road tyres on, haven't we? See, now I'm concerned I'm going to get it stuck. I can't remember what tyres it's got on it. Do they look like the GMC tyres? Oh, I can't see the GMC from here. They do, they're road tyres. So I think that'll get stuck with this weight because it's a really muddy patch. Oh, oh this is frustrating me now. It's going to be a, a day of sorting ourselves out. And then we'll get that thing delivered at the end. I just don't want to risk losing... Well, not losing, just getting it stuck. And then spending forever trying to pull it out or winching it out. Let's just go put some better tyres on it. Let's just put some... All terrains or something. If it's got all terrains on, you know what? I'll, well, I'll shoot myself in the foot, I guess. But in in doing lots of different things all at once on my channel, I do forget what I've done, and uh, as is well established, I've got pretty poor memory anyway. So I forget what I did yesterday. So I want to bring the P16 back. Now, I should have done that as well. When I went through the sea again, not thinking ahead. When I went through the uh, logging area, I should have brought that um, service trailer back. Because I could have hooked that up on the back of here and I could have had that all running around together. If you... <laughs> If you've watched this and you decide to ever do a hard mode, plan it out. Plan it out better than me. Just winging it is not the best way to do it. You'll spend a lot of your time doubling back on yourself like I'm doing. We have a couple of good episodes where things go well and then we have like six where it's just... A nightmare. Now I'm wondering if this is, has got all terrains on because it's actually getting about all right. This will be the telltale. 
because I need to go all the way back here again afterwards to uh, refill, but alas, let's not cry about it all. Let's get on with it. So, customization, tyres, it looks like we have got better tyres on, yeah, all terrains. Should we put the jets on, just for, you know, waste of money's sake? We enjoy wasting money, let's do it. Let's just have a better truck. And so I'm gonna keep them just in case. No, we're not. So we've just wasted two grand. That's all that is. Okay, so. We could put a better engine in it. off-road gearbox shouldn't worry about nothing else everything else should be all right gotta find that in alaska so it turns out we would have been okay but i wasn't i wasn't sure like i said i'd, I'd rather not get stuck than get uh, than get stuck so we're now going to take this and we're going to go and we're going to top up the. What are we going to top up? We're going to top up the fuel trailer in Smithsville. And we're going to go and we're going to top up everything in the Land Rover. So that's got fuel. And then we're going to come all the way back. We're going to refill from the big tanker and we'll top up the white western along the way as well and then we'll go and deliver that fuel tanker and then we'll once again we'll park this back in the middle of town because that's sort of the, the main sort of through area isn't it when we want to do jobs. I think we should have kept a second, but it is what it is. I've made the mistake now. And this is just trying to manage Smithsville and, and, and Black River. We're not even trying to work our way uh, through multiple maps like trying to, try to do um, Island Lakes and Drummond Islands. Although I think they're better, better planned out with fuel in them. I think we've got stuff situated.
Now, to think that we're this far in, and <laughs> we've got 20 grand in the bank. It's so, it's so, so sad, so depressing. I knew I'd be one to be like wasting money on wheels and changing wheels and, and upgrades and stuff like that. I just didn't think I'd be throwing away money on recoveries. That's what's frustrated me. Trip through town. Yeah, I can I can see that GMC again. So I want the GMC. The thing is with the GMC, is this a highway truck? It's a highway truck that wants to be an off-road truck. If you get the upgrades for it, it can do some off-road stuff. It can be the equivalent of the Kodiak sort of thing. Although I think it's a heavy duty, so perhaps it wants to be a heavy duty truck. But it, it wants to be more than it is. Whereas the other highway trucks really aren't any good. And I know some people use them as their fuel trucks, but I figured the Kodiak would be our better fuel truck because we can get about a little bit more with it. And in, in future, maybe the, uh, the GMC could be another one. Because it'd be easier to be able to just have this hooked up with, uh, like I say, a repair or a service trailer on the back, or even a second fuel tank on the back, and then say the same with the GMC, and manage fuel that way. That's how I'd like to do it. I'd like to be organised to a point that that's how I'm managing fuel and repairs. But we are not there. <laughs> not there at all. But now that I've got these better wheels, I'll, I'll know I can go down into the into the login, and I should be able to pull that trailer out once we've uh, drained everything out of the or not everything, but drained some out of the uh, other trailer. I think we can skip that. Now this should be a pretty quick trip here. Now this is me trying to reset things a little bit in my brain, me trying to get control of what's become a bit of a mess. I uh, need to have a good a good think about how we're going to manage things going forwards. Because something as simple as just hooking up certain trailers and having fuel trucks and stuff like that, that's, that's not going to be fixing anything. But it'll be a start for us. So, you know, if I had this hooked up on here, so that we refuel from the fuel tank into there. We've not got a lot left. So we might leave the Land Rover. Because I wanted to, I was gonna send the Land Rover over. Let's just jump to it. What's the Land Rover got fuel wise? It's alright. Okay, because we were gonna send the Land Rover to go and collect. Where is it? Um, the map's flipped on me, hasn't it? Yep. Over here. I think this one is a scout fuel trailer. At 100%. So we were going to collect that. So we should have enough fuel to go get that at some point. So. Yeah, we'll leave that. So we'll jump back to the Chevy. We're just going to feel light as anything.
that tanker is completely bare bones now. Bare bones. Done. Put the lights back on. And then we'll just fill up from that big fuel tanker. 20,000 litres. Show us what it is, 20,000 litres. Ping, ping, ping. Break your wheels as you do. that either. Let's try and get back on the move. Now, do we have... We don't have a snorkel or anything, so we're going to have to go around. I was thinking we might take a shortcut through a bit of river, but I, I don't think the engine will survive it. We can go. We don't have to go past the garage, so we can go the other way. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go in cab again. I like a bit of in cab. We don't do it very often because we're normally doing stressful things, but moving the fuel tanker about shouldn't be stressful. As long as we stick to our track, we're good. Then we'll get that delivery done, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what's next. I think we have to take some other materials to the drilling site before you take the, the large construction bit. Or do you take the large construction trailer and then is it like some metal beams and some cement, or metal beams and some wood, something like that? You have to drop some other bits off, spare parts maybe. I forget stuff. We're well established now, but I forget stuff. We don't have high range on this gearbox. If not, we'd be going in high range. Assuming a little bit less of the also vital fuel that we're burying about. Again, I can't remember what the capacity is, so hopefully it'll tell us what the max capacity is of that trailer, because we have to remember we need to leave uh, 10, 10%. I think it's something like a 36,000 litre. So I think we need to leave... If, I think if we leave 400 litres in it, or around that, we should be good. But I don't think we'll get everything out of it anyway. I think it still had over 30,000 litres, and we can take 20. Again, this is a this is this has got an extra 2,000 litre capacity than uh, than the regular trailer. I don't consider it too like OP or cheating. 2,000 litres just rounds it up nicely. I thought it was going to help me manage my fuel a bit better, but <laughs> oh dear, that's a joke. I said I'd be happy, or I'd be impressed if we could get through Michigan in about 50, did I say 50 episodes, I think? I think this is like number 23, and we're about a third of the way through the jobs. But hopefully, hopefully this business is about to pick up, who knows? <laughs> who really knows? 
Man, if we're still here at like 70, yeah, 70 still in bloody Michigan. It will have been because it's been an utter disaster. And another thing that I find sort of frustrating is like the, the dramas and the, the, the things that have gone wrong. Now I thought they'd come at night. But they've all come during the day, so I can't even blame it on like poor lighting or anything like that. It's just me just making bad decisions. Because something that I was thinking for this series was gonna be like we'd we'd do this sort of work. You know, the laborious work during the night when there's not a lot to do and like get the jobs done during the daylight hours when I can see and concentrate on it a bit more but we tend to have disasters during <laughs> daylight hours and they just have to get things done at night There is a bit we can cut through. Um, I, th I think it'll be pretty safe for us as well. We should be good coming through here. I mean, you can pull big trailers through here, so we should be good coming through here. That's if I've not got lost. I, I tend to get lost now, don't I, as well? We did that in a couple of the first episodes out here. Generally know this map by the back of my hand, and then we get lost, like episode two or three. I was say, did, did my console restart just to see where I was going wrong and what else I could change up? And it was just like, yeah, just did everything in a few hours. We get fuel wise. Thank you, thank you. So that's a five that oh okay, so that's, that's fine then I think. There's just these five hundred litres left. It's got 1,000 and whatever in there. So that's all right. Now, where will... Where's the excess? Down here. Now, again, this, this little bit, though I want to go down, can be a little bit naughty. got some funny camper to it at a time, so it's feel, I feel it already. Honestly, I feel this series, anything and everything just wants to roll on me.
So here is the support rig. This is now the support rig. Not got all wheel drive. I thought we had all wheel drive. Not got all wheel drive. Oh dear. Does have death. It was the all-wheel drive in Alaska, that's it. See if the White Western needs any. White Western doesn't need. It might need a little bit of fixing up. We could do a few points of fixing up as well. So. There's not many points left in that 156, so that's nearly done anyway. But we used it to sort out a couple of trucks, didn't we? I think we used it to uh, repair the um, Kodiak itself, if I remember rightly. I'm just going to put this off to the side here. Alright, let's jump in the Pacific. Get this delivered actually to a contract. <laughs> it's actually decent work. Man. Yep, strange episode, but aren't they all? Sun's coming up, it must be around about four, half past four. What's the time to pop up there when we when we have the HUD up? That'd be nice if we see a little clock. Cool. Just put it away. Up there near the near the job maybe. But at least we have a, a clock in the map. <laughs> in expeditions, we don't even have a clock in the map. Which I hope does come. I hope they give us a map so we can see what time it is. All this, uh, I can't remember what the job pays yet. Three grand. Oh dear. Let's get this hooked up.
And whenever I go to do this, I always get a little bit of... <laughs> a little bit of flashback, a little bit of PTSD to when... When, when Snow Runner first came out and you'd connect to this trailer and you would just fly up in the air about five miles, bounce around, everything would disappear. It'd go nuts. Doesn't do that anymore, thankfully. Well, not for me anyway. I'm sure some people out there will say, oh, it still happens. Excuse me, but yeah, I've been, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't had that for a while. So next one is not a drill. So we want two metal beams. Then we need the drill and rig. And then, uh, then everything else. So, our best route is going to be. We might go through here and just get the metal beams from the warehouse rather than. What's the time? Six o'clock. Yeah, see if we can get to the warehouse. Oh, let's get to the. My western. See if we can get to the warehouse and load up some beams. Was it two metal beams? Two metal beams, yeah. And then we'll have to go back through to uh, get a drill. need to tick off some of these jobs. May spend a bit of time in the next episode or maybe the one after uh, in the Land Rover and so coming through, grabbing those bricks, putting them somewhere else and getting the uh, entertainment workers thing done or entertainment for locals, whatever it's called, local entertainment. Well, fine gear. Let's go. Yeah, it's free. I want to go in it. Yeah. What's with the struggle today? Put it in high range and see how it does. All the gear changes sometimes are such a such a nuisance. Slow you right down. So even though we're not going full speed in high range, at least we're not constantly stopping and losing momentum. And for the life of me, I can't recall whether we've done the uh, food delivery, the timed food delivery challenge, the consumables from the farm to the drill and site. So we might try and get that done as well pretty soon. Now we could do that three times. I think since we're so short on money, we will do it all three times. And then we might look to do the, uh, the wood delivery as well. Do it while we're here, and then we've got the uh, the lost cargo or whatever that is. The four crates that need picking up that I hate doing because I always have trouble with that. That's like the one job that always gets me. And we've struggled on the easy stuff. Excuse me, I'm about to lose my voice. <clears throat> yeah, we've been struggling on the easy stuff. So how how I'm going to do with that? I don't know. See if we turn ourselves around. I should imagine we are looking at about eight o'clock right now. Get ourselves in position at least. And 
now I'm going to detach the trailer just to make it easier for loading. Try to squeeze down beside it. it yeah so that's where we'll leave it next time out we will uh, load up the metal beams we'll get them delivered we'll go and grab ourselves a drill and hopefully deliver the construction trailer and um, yes just start making some headway again uh, we were going well things have got a little bit funny for us but hopefully we can get things back on track in the next episode or two and really make some progress hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for the support. And hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.